And as I just plug the charger in and try to press the power button, laptop does not turn on. There is no power light, no charging light. And if I try to check the charger, as you can see, there is a voltage uh, with the charger. I'm just putting the multimeter on volts. And then I try to check with multimeter. As you can see, there is 19 volt that is required for this laptop to turn on and it does not turn on even though if i try to just unplug the battery and then try to press the power button or try to just plug the charger in it does not turn on there is a second issue as well customer tried to push hard on this button the button is uh, damaged and now there is a second issue as well i will fix later on first i will try to fix the power issue Stay with me, I will be back. Moving power button. And the DC jack. I have plugged in the power button and now plugging in the DC jack to just check the motherboard. As you can see, I can plug the charger in from here and press the power button. Let's test the motherboard. Pressing the power button and it is on. I just open it and the laptop turned on and the light is on as well. I'm sure there must be a part which is making trouble because I just disassembled it and try to really see if it works and it does turn on. I'll just check with the keyboard that if it does display and if I see a post light on it means there is a display as well. Okay, I'm going to plug the keyboard in. As you can see the cap num lock num lock is working fine even though if i try caps lock the caps lock is working fine means there is a display too what i will do i'll just do a little bit cleaning of this motherboard i'll do a little bit reheating the heat gun and clean the ram clean the processor change the thermal paste and then repack everything to see if everything goes fine because right now it is working if there is a corrosion or if any of the part is creating short means the motherboard will gonna stop again but right now it is working fine and only a little bit cleaning might solve this issue or maybe if any of the trackpad keyboard or any other ribbon is creating short with this motherboard after packing it it's gonna create this trouble again i will check one by one after replugging the keyboard replugging the trackpad and all the parts to see if everything goes fine because right now it is working fine i'll just clean it and then pack it back to inspect this motherboard under under microscope and to see if any of the solid corrosion or leak capacitor or damage resistor is there i will replace it otherwise i at the end of the video i will i will leave the video of volts diode and ohms of this motherboard if you do have a problem with your motherboard a different problem if your motherboard does not turn on you can check my other video at the end of this video to see compare the readings of multimeter with your motherboard uh, because as soon as this is working hopefully this will be helpful for you to really fix your issue okay this time i'm going to check the actual display of the laptop i just turn on and plug the screen to see if display comes on screen because previously i checked with the with the keyboard not with the screen i just plug the screen and to see if it display comes It is restarting again and again and now here is a display. It's gonna restart a couple of times because the RTC cell is out and now the laptop is displaying fine as you can see. Okay, both uh, microscopic view of the board and you need to check uh, the IC legs. If any of the legs uh, are joining together, just use this kind of blade to really clean it because right now I'm not having much of the issue with this motherboard but you can check with your motherboard if you do have any of the corrosion around these IC legs 
or any of the any of the capacitor or resistor has got leak in it or a bulge on it that might be an issue if your motherboard does not turn on or has a short on it and try to try to see these traces if it does have any broken trace just inspect thoroughly and then or you can also clean with the with the brush like these ICs I use a petrol to really clean it because as you can see when I clean it IC legs looks really clean but in some cases if uh, if there is a corrosion around these IC legs you will see a black sign on a black spot here or any of the green stuff between the legs that is one of the cause as well to have an issue with the laptop and check these connectors like uh, where the ribbon connects check these connectors as well as well as between these these coils or between these capacitors if you do have any trouble just try to clean these kind of legs and make sure to unplug the laptop uh, while working on it because while plugging it you're going to short the laptop and as well as uh, see this kind of IC see here a little bit dust and if I do clean I will have no issue but in most cases I have seen these kind of legs has got black spot in it and then between the legs there is a there is a you can say a dirt in it that is creating a trouble with the IC you can clean like these make a blade like this and then then clean the IC go for one by one and inspect thoroughly and clean the laptop as well as you can go for the connectors here I will show you in just a second in, in some cases the network connector has got a lot of dirt in it and you can clean with the help of a tuser like this in most cases if there is a display issue these kind of issue can resolve the resolve the problem check the USB connector HDMI connector and as well as check the pins underneath here sometimes there is a dirt inside those are joining two pins together check the USB connector and as well as these kind of pins if you do have any external connector clean those one thoroughly nowadays power ICs are smart if it uh, if the power IC finds any kind of short around the connectors or around the IC it detects and stop the laptop to prevent uh, uh, further further damage on the motherboard and once we clean the short laptop start it start working again just make sure to just clean the motherboard thoroughly and then go for turning on the laptop it should be fine most of the time that does turn on when we clean the entire motherboard now if I plug the charger in as you can see the laptop does turn on I can see the light here and it is beeping for some reason I will check why it is beeping and but right now it is working fine there is no power issue I will check this beep issue why it is beeping but right now the laptop is on and as well as I will explain you one more thing if you do have a cable damage cable like this then you go for fix this damage cable because this damage cable can be a cause of a short and if it does happen if the short happens with the computer means uh, the power power IC will stop but right now it is working fine as you can see battery is charged 100% if I unplug and replug again the whole laptop is working fine but still it is beeping at the back very uh, it's like a very light beeping I will just try to swap the RAM I'm not sure why this is beeping but I will try to fix it as you can see the laptop is on and it is not beeping anymore the issue with the beep was uh, the battery cell the battery cell uh, the pin was uh, pin was bent other side around I just push uh, uh, pull the pin upward this pin broke and the other pin still remain same uh, at the location what I did I checked the battery cell voltage it is 3.1 it's supposed to be more than 2.8 uh, volts and normally normally the side this these kind of RTC cell comes with the uh, with uh, 3.2 volts and now if you if I check this one it is 3 3.1 minimum requirement of this computer is 2.8 
and now this uh, I just replaced the cell I scratched the cell from both side little bit uh, like a scrape with the with the tuser like this from this side and the other side and I pull the pin little bit up and then plug the cell in and now there is no beep anymore and the laptop is on and it is updating additional information i just fixed the power button and as well as if you want to test your laptop if you do have this kind of power issue just remove the rtc cell first battery first and then just try to plug the charger and press the power button if it doesn't turn on then go for the entire procedure because right now uh, in the beginning of the video i did not show it did, I did, it did not show the entire process but you can you can apply these kind of just remove the battery cell from the back remove the battery and then plug the charger and press the power button if it doesn't turn on then go for it while fixing the power button what i did i just dropped the silicone glue on the power button actual button then where where you can where when when we press the power button it it, it presses normally previously i had to push really hard now if i just press the power button it goes off straight away and turn it on just press the power button and wait for some second and it does turn on okay anyway thanks for watching the video hopefully you liked it